Hallelujah. I said angels are on assignment. How many believe that this morning? I said angels are on assignment. Hallelujah. This is the year of angels on assignment. And this is what the Lord showed me. We're going to have another prophetic word tomorrow as well. Amen. And here's what I want to share with you. It does not matter who is in the White House. It never matters, nor will it ever matter who's in the White House. As long as you control, run your own house. Hallelujah. You got Christians down, busted, broke, crying. Who can't, do you know they don't even care about us? You heard Michael Jackson say they don't really care about us. It does not matter what political party you stand in as long as you know whom need you been to. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. I want to share something with you right quick. And we won't tarry long. I want to give you, didn't the MC do a great job? Give a praise to Make sure that you all remember to uh, get with Sister Nisi uh, about her CDs. Uh, can she sing or what? We've been trying to get our sister Sharon to get a CD together. My God, and we thank the, we thank God for our, our prophet uh, Apostle Bailey. Now I told you that you may know that this was a God thing. How many years have Apostle Bailey been coming to our Pastor Appreciation Preacher? Okay, is this the first time he didn't pray for anybody? Just notice the Bible says, this is how you know if the gift is in operation. He always prayed before he closed. I'm like, I know now, God, I see you. I, this that you may know that God is really healing today. Go back to any year and see if he just didn't. Am I right? Unless this is a God thing. <laughs> somebody look at somebody and say this is a God thing. God, 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 God. The Bible says in the book of John that they said, Jesus said rather, uh, my kingdom is not of this world. You would have no power over me if it would not have been given from above. Men and women of God, I have not told you who to vote for or who not to vote for. That's not my concern. I have been telling you, you better stay on your knees. That's what I keep saying. And I'm going to keep saying. Amen. The Bible says that uh, when they came into Jerusalem, the Bible says they came into Jerusalem on a Sunday. For those that don't know, that's why we call it Palm Sunday. He came in Jerusalem. And they were singing, Hosanna in the highest. And the army said, if they don't be quiet, we're going to kill him. And Jesus said, I tell you, if I make them shut up, the rocks will even cry out. Amen. The same crowd that shouted Hosanna in the highest mm. in the midweek was the same crowd that said, crucify him. Yes. Are you hearing me Amen. this morning? Amen. Please hear me very carefully. The crowd chose Barabbas over Jesus. Mm. Mm. Everybody say chose. chose. How about if I use the crowd voted for Barabbas? Come on, Father. Maybe that might make some sense. Amen. Amen. All right. Do you understand All what right. I'm about to tell you? At the birth of Jesus, the Bible says, and there was a decree that everybody should be taxed. Am I right about it? Amen. How many know what looked like a government thing was a God thing? Mm -hmm. The government thought they were in control. And God was saying, see, you don't, you don't even know what I'm doing. I need a prophecy to be fulfilled. Am I making, are you getting where I'm at? So just like it was a God thing and not a government at the birth of Jesus, was it a God thing or a government thing when they chose Barabbas? At both incidents, God was doing a great move. Are you hearing me? What is this great move that God is doing? I've come to tell the people of God, Behold the son of America. Behold the child of America that was voted in. Behold the daughter of America that was running with him. Come on now. Those are our children that America has produced that is running rampant in our cities and our churches today. With that said, can I read this scripture to you? John's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 4. 
For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool to trouble the water. Whosoever the first after the trouble of the water stepped in and was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Did you hear me? <laughs> the Bible says, and I promise I'm done after this, I need you to see this. There was a pool at the marketplace, and there were sick folks there. Look at somebody and say, you may not think I know. Come on, look at me. I know you're sick. Somebody done hurt you and you're still trying to recover. I know somebody lied on you and you're still trying to figure out how to forgive them. Come on, look at somebody and say, I know you're sick. I know you're sick. But you're coming in here wearing a smile. I want you to hear this, Apostle Bailey. They were sick at the marketplace. I could see business happening, but nothing was happening for me. I could see prosperity all around, but it wasn't happening for me because I was sick with some type of disease, some type of infirmity. You remember the woman that cried to Paul and said, these men are men of the most high God, servants. And Paul said, be quiet, a spirit. Do you remember that? Told her to be quiet. She was saying the right thing, but out of her own spirit. She was saying the right thing, Woman of God, you can be doing the right thing, but in the wrong spirit. Are you hearing me? The Bible says that there was a sheep market. Think about these people, sick, blind, deaf. Am I right about it? Come on, look at somebody and say, what, only sick folk hang together? Did you hear me? Maybe you can't go to the next level because you're still hanging with chickens. All these sick folk, you can't hang with nobody healthy. You can't hang with nobody that's going to believe that you can start your own business. Or you just hanging around sick folk. Come on. All these sick folk wanted to do was wake up. Whether they got healed or not, at least I woke up this morning. At least I can still pay my rent. Don't know how I'm going to get a house, but at least I can pay my rent. Come on, man. I don't know. If I'm ever going to be worth $250 million, but at least I can buy me a burger. Sick folk. And the Bible says angels was on assignment to heal anybody that wanted. I've come to tell him, oh, GFC, is there anybody in this house that want to heal? Thanks, brother. I love that, brother. Was this election a surprise to you? Did we not prophesy last year? The papers are still on the back. I've come to tell you today, get whoever you need to get here to get prayed for. Get who, mama, hated uncle, whoever you need to get here to see their life change. I believe God's going to give a breakthrough tomorrow. I can't forget my uncle what he did. Bring him here. I can't forget my boy. Bring her here. Bring him here. Bring your child here that's in rebellion. Bring him here and see if God won't touch him. I've already prayed God use this man of God. Let him show up and show how that they may see your power. That's my prayer. Will you let that be your prayer? That you want to see great deliverance tomorrow? Bring your worst enemy and see they become your best friend. Bring them tomorrow. Bring whatever you need to this altar and say, God, I'm not leaving here till an angel touch me. Raise your, raise your hand, man of God. God use him as an angel to touch us. Angels on assignment for beware of strangers. For some have entertained angels unaware. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. I see the move of God. How many saw it today? Yes, Thanks. Of, thank you all so much for showing up and showing up. Thank you for coming to celebrate our 11th year uh, of service to this great state of Texas, this great city of the metropolitan area.
Thank you for members that have come far and wide. 18 something years, Sister Rosalind been with you. Sister Denise, uh, before your son was born, am I right about it? <laughs> in, in New Orleans, they only knew me. Uh, you remember, Sister, they used to bring people for me to pray for them to get healed. In New Orleans, I was the heal. Out here, I'm the prophet. I'm here to tell you these gifts flow here. Amen. Saints, it's time to get serious. When you see what happened with this election, it doesn't matter. They're our children. This is what America is producing. Amen. Narcissistic people. Amen. I'm telling you now, please hear me. Jesus is coming back soon. I'm not telling you to scare you. I'm telling you to get excited. Hallelujah. For Hebrews says, he that shall come will come and he will not tarry. Yes, is anybody ready for Jesus to come back? I know it might mess up your plan because you want to be a millionaire. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'd rather be caught up in the air than to be a millionaire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Am I talking to anybody in this moment? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen to me, saints. We have already won. Amen. Read the end of your Bible. We've already won. I see servants in the house. For those that have put the pedal to the metal and helped us, God bless you. And do you want me to share that or are you going to do it? Okay. What I want y'all to do, can you, can you help her? Can you hold up one and you hold up the other? Hold up. Uh, yeah, bro. Thanks. Do you like these quotes? We have Sister Chaw Watkins. Uh, she did this for me. Uh, this one's not complete yet, but I said, can you give it to me <clears throat> so I can show the people the type of work you do? If you want in order, if you know somebody's sick, these are healing quilts. That when somebody is sick, you let them sleep in that. It's already been anointed. It's already been prayed over. Amen. And we have a price list. If you want to, give me your name and number. I'm going to make sure she gets your information. These are hand done. She does pillows. She does a whole bunch of other stuff. But how many like this? Is this, this is when you go into a, a sick relative and you say, put this over you when you're sitting in your chair. And the healing scriptures. She's talented. I want somebody to say, yes, man, and God, I think I want one of those. Amen. For somebody I love that needs a touch. Amen. Paul said he sent handkerchiefs. Peter said, I'm, I'm, I mean, Peter shadow heals something. Paul sent handkerchiefs. You can send this, many of them. Yeah. Yeah. Your relatives, somebody can be healed. Somebody be, uh, can be delivered. Amen? Amen. I really encourage you to see if you want to order one. This lady is truly a blessing. You remember her? She's Sister Miranda's mother. Oh, okay. Yes, Lord. Last year, we prophesied when I first met her. I didn't know. I said, God said, you're about to sign a contract. Uh, it's about to blow up. She couldn't be with us today because guess what? It done blew up. She is nominated for an Emmy. Hallelujah. Our sister that came in some for I may not have the talent, but I can identify talent. That's right. To God be the glory. I love y'all saints. I turn y'all. Come on, give the Lord another praise. We want to turn it back over to the sister. Uh, sister H, as I call her. She did a great job. I love y'all. We want to pray over the food as well. And invite the people back as well, sister. I turn you over. Come on, give the Lord another praise. Glory. Hallelujah. We're so excited. Come back tomorrow. That's all I can tell you. It is so much going on tomorrow yes, we have especially if you know someone who wants to be an entrepreneur or they want to start their own business they need to be here to hear this they need to come for the blessing for the anointing we know apostle bailey will be here apostle brassard will be here but we want you back as well yes. we have food we have fellowship we have blessings we have all of that most of all we have each other we say we come here standing firmly on the word of god Yes, Lord. So we want to make sure that you are committed to come back tomorrow and bring yes. someone else with you. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. We're going to pray over the food, and we have someone serving you today. Praise yes. God. 
And please wait because they're going to set up the table first. Glory, hallelujah. And right after this, uh, see Sister Angela for a little sister praying. That's praise God. Amen. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, thank you yes. for all that you have bestowed upon us for this celebratory mm. weekend, Lord. Thank you for the decorations and everyone who has put their hand to the grind to make it happen. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the food, and we ask right now that you purify and sanctify it for the nourishment of our bodies. In my Father's name I pray. Amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Service is over. Oh,